relatively straightforward project and a more complex one share something in common, the need for a good layout. In this project, I demonstrate how layout can be accomplished for a beach bag that becomes an on-the-go, beachcombing scrapbook of sorts. The first step in planning a project might be finding the right basic material. That's the item you want to embellish. In this case, after a trip to the beach, I decided that a jumbo tote, perfect for filling with towels, flip-flops, and sun protection gear, would make a great functional accessory. The first part of designing the project includes selecting the embroidery designs and materials that you will use. I started with the idea that I wanted to frame pictures and objects in clear display pockets. I wanted other designs to fit with the same basic dimensions as the frame design. They also needed to share a beach and ocean theme. All of the designs used in this beach bag project are available in a convenient design pack on embroidery.com. Next, I created a paper template that matched the size of my beach bag. A sheet of butcher paper, pattern paper, or newsprint is a good project planning tool. Here, I drew the seam and strap placement onto the template to assist me in planning for embroidery and taking the bag's features into consideration. Now, I can arrange my printed production sheets as I like and be ready for drawing the layout onto my template. When planning a layout, actual size printed production sheets are very helpful. I like to print one for each time I'll be using a specific design. A tutorial on printing production sheets is available on Embroider.com. Once the production sheets are printed out, I can cut each design out for use in the layout stage. I use a ruler and a pencil to mark the center points for each design on my template. Using my paper templates as guides, I can determine the center point for each embroidery design. I will also write the number of each design in its place on the template so that I can refer to it during the embroidery stage. In this step, my bag template is used as a guide, and I transfer the design center points to the actual bag. With the embroiderer's buddy, I duplicate the measurements used on the template and mark each design center point on the bag. With placement marked and the knowledge that each of my designs fits within my 4-inch embroidery hoop, I'm ready to begin hooping for the final embroidery.